Greetings to all of you. We are together in another documentary video. Today we are going to talk about wolves, one of the most important predators on Earth, symbolized as good in some mythologies and evil in others, respected by everyone and having a very important role for the ecosystem. Before the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more of this kind of content. Wolves, with their haunting howls and intricate social dynamics, have long captured the human imagination. Join us as we journey into the wild to discover the remarkable adaptations, diverse species, and vital roles these apex predators play in maintaining the delicate balance of ecosystems. From their intricate communication to their powerful hunting strategies, wolves stand as a testament to the resilience and beauty of the natural world. Embark with us on a journey into the heart of wolf territory, where myths meet reality and a deeper understanding of these majestic creatures awaits. 1. Gray Wolf Gray wolf tracks often display a marching pattern, where the rear paw lands in the same spot as the front paw on the same side, creating a unique track. Wolves use their tails for communication, and the angle and position of the tail can convey different meanings, from dominance to submission. In a wolf pack, only the alpha pair typically mates and produces pups, creating a synchronized breeding pattern that benefits pack cohesion. Wolves exhibit a wide range of vocalizations beyond howling, including whining, growling, including whining, growling, and whimpering to express emotions and needs. Wolves engage in social grooming, licking each other's faces and bodies not only for hygiene, but also to reinforce social bonds within the pack. Wolves' olfactory abilities are incredibly powerful, allowing them to detect scents over vast distances and even under snow or water. While ungulates, hooved mammals, form a significant portion of their diet, wolves are also opportunistic, feeding on smaller mammals, birds, and carrion. Adolescent wolves, known as dispersed wolves, often leave their natal packs to explore new territories, helping prevent inbreeding. Wolves' bodies can adapt to different temperature extremes. In cold weather, their metabolic rate increases, while hot weather prompts rest. In snowy regions, gray wolves' fur serves as camouflage. Their light-colored fur blends into the snowy landscape, aiding in hunting and avoiding predators. Wolves are known to cache food by burying or hiding excess food they can't consume immediately, saving it for leaner times. Wolves are highly efficient hunters, often targeting the weak or old members of prey populations, which helps keep prey populations healthy. In areas with multiple prey species, wolves have been observed adapting their hunting strategies to target the most abundant species. Wolves' paws have specialized adaptations that help them move through snow more effectively, similar to snowshoes. Wolves will howl together even when they're not in the same location, creating a chorus that strengthens pack unity and territorial communication. 2. Arctic Wolf Arctic wolves have a pure white coat that serves as excellent camouflage in their snowy habitat, helping them blend into the environment. Compared to their gray wolf counterparts, Arctic wolves tend to be smaller with more compact bodies to minimize heat loss. Arctic wolves have keen eyesight, enabling them to spot prey from a distance in the vast expanses of the Arctic tundra. Arctic wolves often lead a more nomadic lifestyle, following the migration patterns of their primary prey, such as caribou and muskoxen. In their isolated habitat, Arctic wolves have less competition for resources, leading to smaller pack sizes compared to other wolf species. Some Arctic wolf populations inhabit coastal areas and islands, supplementing their diet with seals and other marine life. Their thick fur and layers of fat provide insulation against the extreme cold, allowing them to withstand. Temperatures as low as 40 def, 40 dex, Arctic wolves often travel long distances in search of food, covering up to 30 miles, 48 kilometers, in a single day, due to the scarcity of prey in their habitat. Arctic wolves have a lower hunting success rate compared to other wolf species Arctic wolves are. Equipped to survive harsh conditions, with adaptations such as a low metabolism to conserve energy during lean times, some Arctic wolf populations have interbred with domestic dogs, leading to hybridization and introducing new genetic traits. Arctic wolves often employ cooperative hunting strategies using their pack's teamwork to take down larger prey in their challenging environment. In some areas, Arctic wolves scavenge from polar bear kills, relying on their cunning to take advantage of these opportunities. Arctic image of these opportunities, opportunities, Arctic communities, Arctic wolves follow it. Seasonal migration patterns of their prey, sometimes crossing vast distances to find food. Arctic wolves have evolved unique adaptations to cope with their harsh habitat, making them distinct from other wolf species. 3. Mexican Wolf The Mexican wolf, also known as El Lobo, is one of the most endangered wolf subspecies, with efforts focused on its conservation. 
ones ranging from the southwestern United States to Mexico. The Mexican wolf's territory has significantly decreased due to human activity. Mexican wolves are smaller than gray wolves, with a more slender frame, and they often have a unique mix of gray, black, and rust-colored fur. Mexican wolves exhibit complex social structures, similar to gray wolves, with packs composed of an alpha pair, and their offspring conservation programs have been in place to reintroduce Mexican wolves into the wild in parts of Arizona and New Mexico due to their critically low numbers. Captive breeding programs have played a vital role in the Mexican wolves primarily inhabit mountainous and forested areas, preying on deer and smaller mammals like rabbits and rodents. Mexican wolves have a distinctive howling pattern that's shorter and higher pitched compared to the howls of their gray wolf relatives. The reintroduction of Mexican wolves is essential for maintaining healthy ecosystems by controlling prey populations and promoting biodiversity. The Mexican wolf holds cultural significance among Native American tribes, featuring prominently in their stories and spirituality. Mexican wolves are protected under the Endangered Species Act, which mandates conservation efforts to restore their populations. Hybridization with domestic dogs is a challenge for Mexican wolf conservation, as it can dilute the genetic integrity of the wild population. Conflicts arise between Mexican wolves and livestock owners, highlighting the need for effective strategies for coexistence. Public education and awareness campaigns are crucial for garnering support for Mexican wolf conservation and recovery. Introducing Mexican wolf conservation and recovery. Introducing Mexican wolves helps restore a missing ecological component and contributes to the rewilding of their historical habitat. 4. Eastern Wolf The Eastern Wolf, also known as the Algonquin Wolf, is believed to be a result of natural hybridization between gray wolves and coyotes. Some researchers consider the eastern wolf to be a distinct subspecies, Canis lupus lycan, due to its unique genetic and ecological traits. Eastern wolf primarily inhabit eastern Canada and parts of the northeastern United States, favoring mixed woodlands and boreal forests. Eastern wolves exhibit physical and behavioral adaptations that allow them to thrive in both wolf and coyote habitats. Eastern wolves display dietary flexibility, preying on a variety of animals including deer, rodents, beavers, and even fruits. Eastern wolves exhibit social behaviors akin to both gray wolves and coyotes, often forming smaller packs or loose family groups. The eastern wolf's unique genetic makeup and potential status as a distinct subspecies raise conservation concerns, especially due to hybridization. Interactions between eastern wolves and coyotes impact their populations, with hybridization potentially affecting the genetic purity of the eastern wolf. Like other wolf species, the eastern wolf plays a vital role in controlling prey populations and shaping the health of ecosystems. The eastern wolf has cultural importance among indigenous communities, being part of stories and traditions, own genetic and ecological research aims to better understand the eastern wolf's unique attributes and its conservation needs. Eastern wolves exhibit adaptability in their interactions with both natural and human altered landscapes. Hybrid zones between eastern wolves, gray wolves, and coyotes occur where their ranges overlap, influencing their genetic diversity. Eastern wolves have distinct howling patterns contributing to the differentiation between them and other wolf and coyote species. The movement of eastern wolves across international borders adds complexity to conservation efforts and collaboration. 5. Red Wolf Red wolves are carnivores and primarily feed on a variety of prey species, including rabbits, rodents, deer, and smaller mammals. Their diet can adapt based on the availability of prey in their habitat. Like all mammals, red wolves require water for survival. They drink water from various sources such as streams, rivers, ponds, and other water bodies within their territory. Red wolves are known for their cooperative hunting behavior. They employ a mix of stalking, pursuit, and ambush strategies to catch their prey. In packs, they can work together to bring down larger prey. Red wolf packs typically consist of an alpha male and female, which are the dominant breeding pair. Other members of the pack, including subordinates, assist in raising the young. The alpha pair often leads the pack in hunting, defending territory, and making important decisions. Red wolves historically inhabited a range of habitats, including mixed forests, swamps, wetlands, and coastal areas. Their habitat preference is influenced by prey availability and protection from human disturbances. Red wolf howls are distinct from other wolf species. Their howls are often shorter and more staccato, with a higher pitch compared to the howls of gray wolf. This unique howling pattern helps red wolves identify each other and establish territorial boundaries. 
Red wolves are smaller in size compared to gray wolves and have a more slender build. Their coat color varies, but it's often reddish, brown with some individuals exhibiting a grizzled pattern. Genetically, red wolves are distinct from both gray wolves and coyote. Red wolves' fur can range from a reddish brown hue to a lighter tan or gray color. Some individuals display a mix of colors in their fur, which aids in camouflage in their forested habitat. Red wolves have a body structure adapted to their hunting and habitat needs. They have a leaner build compared to gray wolves, which helps them navigate through forested areas and swamps with ease. Red wolves were nearly extinct in the wild, but successful captive breeding programs have played a crucial role in their conservation. Efforts to reintroduce them to their native habitat continue. Although challenges such as hybridization with coyotes and habitat loss persist, hybridization with coyotes is a significant challenge for red wolf conservation. Interbreeding with coyotes can lead to genetic dilution and threaten the unique genetic identity of red wolves. Yes, red wolves form packs, often consisting of a breeding pair, their offspring, and sometimes subordinates. Pack dynamics help with cooperative hunting, raising pups, and defending territory. In the wild, red wolves typically live around six to seven years, while those in captivity can live longer, up to 14 years or more. Red wolves breed once a year, usually in late winter. The alpha pair leads the breeding, and after a gestation period of about 60 to 63 days, the female gives birth to a litter of around three to six pups. Red wolves are critically endangered, with only a few dozen individuals remaining in the wild. Conservation efforts include captive breeding programs, reintroduction initiatives, and habitat preservation. In this video, we covered five wolf species. Our next video will be about other wolf species. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and express your thoughts in the comments so you don't miss the next videos. Remember, knowledge is the greatest power in the world.